In real-world projects, we often use Git branching. When working alone, branching makes it easy to work on multiple tasks independently. Say, for example, I have a large task of restyling the application. But I also have two smaller tasks, to update the copyright statement and fix a display issue. I can work on each task separately and merge it in when it's complete without worrying about incomplete work on other branches. When working on a team, each developer can branch out from the main code and isolate their work from everyone else's. So in addition to the branches for my three tasks, Fatima creates branches for each of her tasks, and Chris creates branches for their tasks. Commits made in one branch have no effect on other branches, and no effect on the main branch, until the task is complete and we're ready to merge it in. When working with branches, there are a few extra steps in our process, both at the beginning and end of our work on our task. As we start a new task, we create a branch in our local repository for that task. We name the branch using the feature or issue we're working on. We can publish the branch to the remote repository so the branch exists both locally and on GitHub. Before making edits and commits, we ensure the appropriate branch is selected by checking out the branch. Then we make our changes. When we're ready, we stage and commit our changes to that branch and push those commits to that branch on the remote repository. Then when we're done with our task, we'll have our commit history in the branch for that task in our local repository and a copy of the commit history in that branch in our remote repository, but only in that branch. We still need to merge those commits to our main branch We'll do that in the next clip. For now, let's use VS Code to create some local branches, publish those branches to remote, commit files to the local branches, and push those commits to remote. We are back in VS Code with the Pet Cafe folder open. Click on the source control icon. Notice we don't currently have any uncommitted changes. Let's create some branches. Click the dot 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 in the toolbar at the top, then Branch, Create Branch. It asks for the branch name. We recently realized that we misunderstood the Add Excitement task and want to remove the excess exclamation marks we added, so we'll name this branch bug excess exclamations. Press Enter. Notice that VS Code automatically switches us to that branch as shown down here on the bottom left. We can immediately publish this branch to GitHub. So let's pick Publish Branch. And it's done. Let's add a second branch. We want to create the branch from main, so we first switch to the main branch. Click the branch at the bottom and select main here at the top. Confirm that we are on the main branch. Then use Branch Create Branch. We are also working on a task to copy edit the text before final publication of our website. So we'll name this branch Work in Progress or WIP dash copy dash edit. We see at the bottom that we are now switched to this new branch and we'll publish that branch to GitHub. That was fun. Want to see our branches? Bring up GitHub and refresh the browser. We see that we now have three branches. Click on the branches to view the details. The default branch is main, our two branches are here, and they are both active. This little visual element indicates how many commits a branch is ahead or behind of main. That will look more interesting as we do more work. Going back to VS Code, click on Explore so we can make our edits. But now that we are using branches, we need to be sure we are on the correct branch before editing any files. We see down here that we are on the whip-copy-edit branch. So let's make a change for that branch first. Click to open the index.html file and close Explorer for more room. At the end of this paragraph, let's replace a virtual pet with virtual pets 
to keep the plural form throughout the paragraph. That's all we have time for today, so let's commit the change. Click on the source control icon, type in a commit message, such as copy edits for index, and click the check to commit. After confirmation, we are ready to sync the change with GitHub. Click Sync Changes and notice the confirmation message. Here we can confirm that we are syncing with the right branch. We're good, so click OK. Now we want to do some work on the exclamation issue. Click on Explorer and we can make edits. Oh, but wait! We aren't on the right branch. Click on the branch name in the bottom left and view the list of branches at the top. Then select the desired branch. We'll pick bug dash excess dash exclamations. But look at this. Our other change is gone. Now that we've switched branches, our working folder files were changed to the last commit on the bug dash excess dot exclamations branch. And that branch doesn't have our most recent change. Now let's remove two of our exclamation points. Next, click on the pet dash list page. On this page, we'll remove the extra exclamation. Now we are done and ready to commit the changes. Click the source control icon and enter a commit message. How about remove excess exclamation marks? Click the check to commit and yes to confirm. Then sync the changes to GitHub. We'll again double check that we are on the correct branch and we are, so click OK. Let's check out the result in GitHub. Refresh the browser to update the page with our latest changes. We now see that each of our branches are one commit ahead of main. Let's go back to the slides. So, VS Code's Git integration helps us manage our branches. We can create branches locally, publish branches to the remote repository, and switch to a branch for edits and commits. Now we are ready to issue a pull request and merge our branches.